Hi guys, welcome back to Chest of Matthew. So on this video, we will tackle about the Karakan defense on the Apocalypse attack variation. So the set opening start with the moves of e4, and here the block plays c6, the significant move to the Karakan defense, in which the idea here is to support the d5 push on the next move. But here the white will play knight f3 on this position to develop a piece and to control the center, and again vacating the square so that later on the white king can castle on the king's side on here the black here will play d5 as what his idea by playing c6 to support his d5 so that for example after e takes d5 on his position there is c takes d5 so after c takes d5 we will now enter the apocalypse attack with the knight e5 move up white in which the idea here is to have an early pressure on the enemy's comp and the cost of moving his piece twice on this position that actually cost a tempo. So here for example, in which the blacker can actually play bishop f5 in which the Karakan defense is actually relies on his bishop development after for example, after c6 on this position and after d5 opening some lines for his bishop for the development to have an early counter attack to the white's position for example after bishop f5 and bishop to g4 after this pawn will actually been moved then there is bishop to f5 but here for example after knight to e5 and if the black here will be consistent to his idea by developing his bishop to f5 but this is actually a bad move because there is bishop b5 with a check and here the black was forced to cover the check because it is the only thing that he can do because he cannot escape and he cannot capture the chicken pieces so after knight d7 but there is a simple queen to f3 attacking the bishop on this position and let's say for example after f6 but there is bishop takes d7 check and after bishop takes d7 queen h5 check and again after the cover of check but there is knight takes to g6 attacking the rook and after bishop to g4 countering but there is a simple queen takes g4 and after h takes g6 and queen takes g6 check we shall see in this position now that the white here actually ended up with two pawns ahead so going back for example after f5 in which there is an immediate bishop b5 check and after the cover with knight d7 but there is queen f3 Let's say for example here if the black doesn't play f6 but instead play bishop to e6 but there is simple bishop takes d7 check and it's up to the black here on this position whether he will surrender his queen or rather the king because for example after bishop takes d7 there is queen takes f7 checkmate. So again after bishop to f5 although it looks like a normal move but this is actually a blunder move because it allows here for the white to play bishop b5 check and let's say for example instead of knight d7 cover let's say for example there is bishop d7 cover to the check but there is queen h5 threatening to meet in one and after a cover to the h5 diagonal to e8 to stop any further checkmate but there is a simple knight takes d7 the idea is, is for example after g takes h5 there is knight f6 checkmate and again for example after on this position if the black will not capture the queen rather to play the move knight takes d7 but there is simple queen takes d5 with an attack to the b7 pawn and after the black defend there is simple queen takes d7 check and after queen takes bishop takes king takes and d4 we shall see in this position now that the white here has an advantage in the end game because he has an extra pawn so going back for example after e4 c6 net f3 d5 e takes d5 c takes d5 knight e5 the apocalypse attack variation to the karakan defense the blocker should not play bishop f5 but instead play the move knight c6 because after bishop b5 pinning the knight with an idea for example after bishop f5 again a blunder move because there is knight takes c6 b takes c6 and bishop takes c6 with a fork 
So after bishop b5, the blocker should surrender his bishop pair after bishop d7. Because for example, after knight takes d7, queen takes d7, d4 stopping first any further push of the d pawn of block, there is a simple move for block which is to play a6 attacking the bishop and after bishop to e2, e6 trying to open up some lines for his bishop and after c3 stopping any b4 hop for the block perspective but there is simple bishop d6 and after king said castling f5 trying to put the pawns of the block here on the let square because he has no let square on the board so after net d2 net f6 net f3 and king side castling we shall see on this position now that the block here actually connect his rook and complete his opening development and we shall see on the white's perspective that the white here actually has a problem for development because he has actually uh, tempo down for example his bishop cannot easily go for the bishop d2 or even bishop d5 because there is knight to e4 attacking that bishop trying to regain back the bishop pair and after bishop to e3 there is f4 trying to harass that bishop so going back for example after one more time after e4 c6 net f3 d5 e takes d5 c takes d5 and knight to e5 although this apocalypse attack variation of the karakan defense seems so dangerous for the blacks perspective but with an accurate moves this is actually a loss of time because after knight c6 bishop b5 bishop d7 knight takes d7 queen takes d7 d4 a6 bishop e2 e6 c3 bishop d6 king said castling f5 knight d2 knight f6 knight f3 and king said castling the white here actually has a problem for his development by having some wasted time for example after knight f3 and knight e5 a tempo down for example after b5 and retreating to bishop to e2 so that's all i hope you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to subscribe